Hey, this is Wanker Reviews, and I'll be doing a video on Little, starring Regina Hall and Issa Rae, about a woman who used to be bullied at school, and then grows up to be a bully herself. She is the boss of her own company, and she's very wealthy, and everyone around her fears her, and secretly hates her, until one day she bumps into a little girl who likes to do magic tricks, and little girl makes a wish and wishes that Regina Hall turns into a little back into a little girl so she can't bully anyone anymore. And Regina Hall wakes up as a thirteen year old all over again and has to figure out how to change back. Now based off the trailers, I honestly thought that this was gonna be a really great movie, really funny, very creative. I'm not the biggest Issa Rae fan at all. I personally, don't because of her, because of what I've heard about her in the media, but I don't like to judge people based off what they do in their personal life. I like to just judge the movie as as is. And I was actually really looking forward to watching it because uh, it didn't look like it was something that had a lot of negative stereotypes. It looked like a very uh, wholesome made a wholesome comedy. So going in, I was actually really surprised at how dry the movie felt just from the get-go. Just the vibe of the movie itself felt very off. I, I, can't, re I can't really put my finger on it, but it, it just felt very off. It felt like the jokes were very spread out. But just to get to the positives, I did think everyone in the movie tried their best to do their best. Uh, like everyone in the movie had a good moment and everyone in the movie had their off moments. No one in the movie that I can think of did a terrible job. As for positives, that's the only positive that I can think of at the moment. Like I said before, I thought the movie was very dry. Something about it just didn't seem funny to me. I don't know, maybe maybe my expectations were too high, but I just none of the jokes really landed for me. I did get a couple of chuckles here and there, but it just didn't really move me in any way. One thing that really did bother me about this movie was the was the subtle racism involving the little girl's hair. The little girl is played by Marcel, by Marcy Martin, and I'm not too familiar with her, although she has been in some popular TV shows and movies. But, what, but before this movie came out, I just was not, I was not familiar with her. And her character, when she turns into the younger version of Regina Hall, her character has to deal with some subtle racism, and that really, really bothered me. Like, there were a couple of scenes in this movie where, where the younger version of Regina Hall, the 13-year-old version of Jordan Sanders, who's played by Regina Hall, she has to go back to school and... Right away, she's bullied by her classmates. One girl in particular, like, makes a very, like, makes a, like, racist comment about her, about how poofy her hair is. And if you've seen the trailers for this movie, you know that her hair is in an afro from beginning to end. There's, like, a, like a, like a prank that a lot of the classmates around the school do to her during lunchtime, like they're sticking things in her hair and making fun of the fact that her hair is poofy and isn't straight and how she needs a blowout. And that really bothered me, especially for something that's supposed to be a comedy. I, going into this, I was expecting like a lighthearted comedy. I wasn't expecting like seeing like racist little shit going on to the character. And another thing that really bothered me was that this girl, this little girl, is assaulted twice in the movie by two different white students. Like, she's physically assaulted, and no teachers are around, no adults are around. All of this happens 
on school property. This girl is literally like this. Like this girl ends up in the hospital in the cast with an arm in a lay cast in a wheelchair, and there's no talk of pressing charges against the white student that assaulted her. Not only was this little girl physically assaulted twice by two different white students, there were no teachers around. And that's something that's very noticeable. This school is literally run by students. And there's one teacher, and he's never around when this girl is being pranked on during lunch. But this one white teacher pops up out of nowhere when Jordan Sanders, the little girl, wants to order Postmates during lunchtime, and he takes her Postmates away. But where the hell was he when all these students were sticking shit in her hair and making fun of how, and making fun of the texture of her hair? And not only was, were there no teachers around when any of these physical assaults were happening, but there was never really any real redemption. And in movies like this, the main character is not only trying to learn a lesson, but they're also, they're also, they also get to get back at the people that did them wrong. And not saying that she should have gotten physical, although she would have had the right to get physical, but she never really gets back at the people that physically assaulted her. They do this really cheap talent show thing at school, and they're doing... And her doing these dance moves in front of the in front of the school and getting claps from doing all these dance moves that aren't even that good, by the way. That's supposed to be her gotcha moment. That's supposed to be her getting back at the people that bullied her. And it's so cheap, in my opinion. I just felt so unsatisfied. Like, her doing some corny dance moves from two, three years ago with two other nerdy students that she befriends, that's supposed to be getting back at the bullies. And uh, I don't know, this movie is bullshit. I, pardon my language, but all these white kids get to physically assault her at every which way, and she never gets an opportunity to really stand up for herself. She's super freaking weak. She was weak when she was 13 the first time, and then when she was 13 for the second time, you'd think her having an adult mentality she would get back at these people that are assaulting her, that are bullying her. Like, th like, this chick never stands up for herself. Her standing up for herself is dressing nicer. Like, I don't know. That I just did not, I just hated that. I hated it from beginning to end. This girl was so weak. Another thing that really bothered me was the colorism. Like, there's like a real small hint of colorism in this. And Regina Hall isn't that much lighter than Marcy M Martin, who plays the younger version of her. They're, like, but Regina Hall is noticeably lighter, and she's like maybe four shade, four or five shades lighter. There's like a a, a low key dis, not low key. Like if there's a very high key dis in the movie, where they're talking about Regina Hall's character, Jordan Sanders and how Jordan Sanders glows up as an adult now that she's five shades lighter with her hair straight versus when she was a little girl and her hair was nappy and her skin was darker. Like, that's just something some people might not even notice, but that's something I couldn't help but notice, how her so-called glow up was being lighter and having her hair straight. So not only was this movie just not funny to me at all, which is a huge disappointment because I was really looking forward to watching it, but there was like a lot of like subtle racism. But going back to the colorism, I will say that I did like, like Issa Rae, who plays April in the movie, she is dark skinned, and I do like the fact that she's not a negative stereotype, that she's like, she gets the guy, she's not, she's like kind of awkward, and she's very feminine. That's what I really liked about her. Yeah, she's very soft-spoken and very ladylike, and she actually has a very hard time yelling at people. She's never a negative stereotype, and that's something that I do appreciate because dark-skinned women don't get a lot of proper promotion, 
and I really like to, I really like that they showcase this side of dark skinned women as being you know fit and you know soft spoken and dainty and kind of nerdy and awkward and I, I really like that I really do appreciate that instead of just being loud and neck rolling and ghetto and all that one more little problem that I did have with the character of Jordan Sanders the 13 year old version of Jordan Sanders I feel like the actress Mar Marcy Martin I feel like she's a little too old like even though she is 13 years old I feel like she's a little too developed like all the other child actors who are supposed to be the same age as her they look like actual kids except for maybe one actress who plays the bully the, the person that's bullying her she does look like maybe one of the older looking kids but other than that all the other kids look so much younger than her and to me she's just physically too developed and like her face looks very childlike like she looks like a child in the face but her body like you can see her body and tell that she's starting to develop and that really kind of ruined the whole child aspect for me like it never really felt like she was a real child I think maybe they should have made the character younger maybe they should have made the character maybe to a ten year old maybe a nine or a ten year old so you can really get the feel that an adult was in a, was in a kid's body but instead they choose a teenager who's like developing and I don't know I felt like maybe the movie would could have been a little funnier if they would have chosen an actress and maybe made the character herself younger but that's just a little pet peeve of mine overall I give this I don't know this movie wasn't terrible this movie isn't worth going to the movies for but I honestly I honestly have to give this a 4 out of 10 very disappointing